Let's talk about magnets and pacemakers or AICDs. There's a lot of misinformation out there about how magnets can interact with pacemakers and AICDs. And I think you hear a lot of times like, oh, you put a magnet on your pacemaker, it's going to break it, it's going to scramble it, it's not going to work again. Uh, but we've come a long way with pacemakers and AICDs. So I thought we could talk about some facts about magnets with pacemakers and AICDs. First and foremost, not all pacemakers are also AICDs. So first we're going to talk about just pacemakers and magnets. When your patient has a pacemaker, they're going to have their own custom settings as far as what that pacemaker is doing as far as the demand rate, etc. So if you place a magnet over a pacemaker, what it's going to do is deactivate the patient's programmed settings that are customized to them and put the pacemaker over to a fixed rate that is asynchronous. This is going to look different depending on the brand of the pacemaker. So if you put a magnet over a Medtronic pacemaker, it is going to set it at a rate of 85. If you take the magnet off, then your pacemaker should go back to the settings that it was programmed at. These are some of the problems and complications that can come along with placing a magnet over a pacemaker. Uh, the rate may be too high or too low for the patient. It may compete with their native rate. It also can cause R on T phenomenon when it is pacing at inappropriate times. So for the majority of nurses out there, you are typically not ever putting a magnet over just a pacemaker for funsies. For magnets that are placed over AICDs or automated internal cardiac defibrillators, it will only affect the tachycardia sensing function. It will not affect the pacemaker function. So if your patient has an AICD because maybe they go into VTAC and they have to get shocked out of it, if you put that magnet over the AICD, it's going to deactivate that function temporarily. Once the magnet's removed, then the patient would be able to be shocked by their AICD. Sometimes we will place a magnet over an AICD on a patient that is transitioning to comfort care, hospice care. Um, in other words, we don't want them to be shocked because the patient is going to be a DNR and be allowed to pass away naturally. We keep a couple of these in the charge office at my work. They're very, very strong magnets. These are like 90, I think it's Gauss is the, the term used for the strength of a magnet. Magnet. So you have to have a very strong magnet in order to interfere with the pacemaker or AICD functions. And again, it's just temporarily affecting them when the magnet's placed over it. The second it's removed, it should go back to its normal functioning. Okay, I hope that sums this up. Let me know if you have any questions.